Uh, for the men, I mean, it's you know, three people are doing well. Um, you know, it's you know, they're 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 getting better. They're they're making a lot of progress. A lot of the guys, um, same as the women, they um, you know, as the, the returning swimmers, they've maintained a lot of the the progress that they made last year. And uh, and the freshmen that we have, they're um, they're working hard to to improve. Um, you know, I'm I'm excited to see where where they're going to be here. Um, and you know, there's a lot of a lot of question marks with um, you know what are their what are their strengths going to be what are their third events going to be so it's going to be interesting these these next few meets to to see how that plays out. Uh, yeah, so the seniors we have ten guys this year on the on the team uh, that are seniors um, and they've done a great job over the course of their career um, you know getting better striving to get better not being willing to take a back seat to the upper class when they they have wanted to um, make an impact and, uh, and and over the course of their careers they have. Uh, you know, you look at Joey uh, Ashrab that over the course of his uh, career so far, you know, he really wanted to, to get under a minute in the in the 100 breaststroke. And um, you know, those first couple of years, you know, he you know, struggled with that, um, you know, really had to work hard to, to make some changes. And last year he finally broke through. And, and I can see a big difference in his confidence level this year. And I feel that you know, that's going to make a big di uh, difference in, in you know, how he uh, you know, uh, finishes out his, his uh, swimming career. Um, Noah Berkebile, um, you know, really great at the, the, the backstroke and the fly events. Um, you know, he uh, last year just barely got touched out by you know, his teammate in the in the 200 backstroke, and I think you know he really wants to, to, to win that event this year, and he's going to be pushed by you know his teammates and um, you know a couple of these these freshmen may may end up pushing them there as well. Um, Reed Blackstone, uh, I was really impressed last year because. Um, Reed is not a 200 butterflyer. Um, you know, he's a, more of a sprint freestyler and sprint uh, butterflyer. Uh, but last year, he saw the opportunity to um, to to swim the 200 butterfly as an opportunity to maybe win the conference title, and he did. He went out and uh, and he won that event, and it was uh, you know an event that he really very rarely swims. In fact, you know, we've already talked about this year. Um, you know, that might be a potential event at the conference championships this year and he said as long as he doesn't have to swim it too many times during dual meets that you know he, he may be willing to to make that sacrifice again you know so we'll we'll see how that goes uh jake green um is a is a a man of uh, you know uh, a jack of all trades um you know backstroke uh, uh breaststroke i am um and he's working hard on his on his butterfly to to make those those ims better um but you know at the end of the season we really don't know what he's going to end up swimming at the conference championships until we get a good feel for for what the other teams are doing um and you know and, and jake really uh, embraces that you know what you know working on all aspects of his uh of his swimming um, Gavin Grove, you know, Gavin Grove has been an incredible story for us to tell the, um, you know, the, 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 the younger classes because, uh, you know, when Gavin came in as a freshman, you know, the, the coaching staff, you know, we looked at him and we said, you know, this kid has potential, but it's just a lot of potential. Um, you know, he really struggled with anything, you know, that was a longer event over, over 50 yards. Um, you know, his sophomore year, we were looking at him going, okay, that 50's pretty good, and he could break into a relay, but is that enough to make the conference roster? And in the end, he was, was uh, you know, exhibition at the conference championships. And then last year, the, the 100 free started to develop. The 200 free is, you know, started to get better. And um, not only did he break into the conference roster, but he made the A relays at the conference championships and helped the, help the team win a couple relay titles. Um, you know, so he's really just worked so hard over the course of his four years. Um, you know, and he's a quiet kid. I mean, you know, we, we joke a lot with him about the things that he needs to work on because there's a lot of breath, you know, holding, you know, doing and, um, you know, working on his underwater kick, working on his, on his just flutter kick. And, uh, you know, he always kind of gives a, a smile and, you know, goes about setting to work and, and trying to make himself better. Um, so, you know, really, I feel that he's, you know, a, a great inspiration to these other guys, especially guys that, that look and say, you know, I don't know what kind of impact I can have on the team. And you look at him and you say, well, you know, here's a guy that, you know, he really worked hard to, to make sure that uh, he could, you know, improve and, and has a major has a major role on the, on the team now. Um, Will Hannon, a local kid that, uh, you know, has, has kind of been in the background the last couple of years. He's a, a, a good butterflyer and a good sprinter. Um, you know, but there was always, you know, one or two guys ahead of him. So even though he was top eight in his events, he was always a little bit overshadowed by his teammates. 
And uh, this year, he, he worked really hard over the summer, and uh, I can already see it paying dividends. You know, some of the, the test sets that we do, um, where he was, you know, well, maybe middle of the pack with some of these things, now, not only is he, you know, at the top end, he's blowing people out of the water in practice. Um, you know, and so he really has just, you know, dedicated himself to finishing out his, his swimming career strong, and, and I can't wait to see how that, that plays out for him. Uh, Ryan Clemmer, uh, you know, a distance swimmer and, and back or butterflyer. Uh, of course, if his career has had some some back issues, but uh, you know, it seems like you know, those are more in the rear view for, mirror for him now. Um, and you know, and he's uh, you know a guy that he hates to lose. He hates to lose warm up. He hates to lose you know in a dual meet. And uh, and I can see him you know again just really motivated to to finish strong. Um, Peter Miller, um, you know, uh, he last year broke into the top 10 in the history of the college in a, in a couple of events and um and, and his goal right now and, and i think it's achievable i mean he wants to he wants to see if he can you know set maybe a school record in the 200 freestyle um and and has worked exceptionally hard to uh to try and make that happen um and the nice thing is he's got a couple freshmen that are pushing him in those those middle distance freestyle events he's got you know his, his classmates you know that are pushing him in the backstroke events um so there's you know some really great work going on there and he's really turned into a, a fantastic leader as well um, Ryan Morris has always shown a lot of potential in, uh, in his diving events. Um, we've always felt that he has the potential to go to the, to the NCAA regional meet. And, um, and I think this year he's kind of looking at, you know, making sure that that comes to fruition. Um, he's, uh, you know, kind of, you know, and in previous years where he would be a little apprehensive with some of the more difficult dives on three meter, um, you know, with Coach Evanoff and, and, and you know, my wife Tammy coaching, um, he's taking another step. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's saying, okay, I'm going to do this, and, and he's doing dives now early in the season that he um, wouldn't be doing at this point in previous years. So I'm excited to see how, how that plays out. Um, he's, he's really believing that you know, he has that, that capability of going to the, the regional championships. And our final senior, Sean Luke Klein, um, you know, he, uh, he transferred in as a freshman. He, he actually, um, this is his fourth year here now, um, but the way things played out with COVID and his credits and everything, he's, he's able to put in, you know, another season for us. And, uh, you know, like his sister Sylvia, just an incredibly hard worker. Um, and, and he gives um, good feedback as far as, well, I think this might help me. I think this might help me. And so we've been able to tailor the, the workouts a little bit better to, to what he needs to, to continue to improve. And, and I think this year, you know, he may end up uh, playing a role at the conference championships. Yeah, so the sophomores and juniors, both of those classes are a little bit smaller. Um, and we had four, four uh, individuals from those two classes that played a, a major role in last year's conference championship. Um, Mac Hancock, if it weren't for his brother James uh, touching him out in the 50 freestyle, um, Mac would have had a great shot at being the, uh, the conference MVP. He won the 100 free, he won the 100 breaststroke, um, he only lost to his brother in the 50 free by three hundredths of a second, and both of them ended up making our, our top 10 list in the history of the college in that event. Um, so he really had a breakout uh, sophomore campaign, and, uh, and I think that has given him a lot of confidence. Um, and the, the fascinating thing is that his classmate, Elias Griffin, um, we really felt like he had a great shot at breaking the school record in the 100 breaststroke last year, and Mac touched him out in the, uh, in the individual event. Now, to Elias' uh, defense, um, he had an amazing swim on the 400 medley relay, and uh, he just, you know, if, if we'd had a prelims finals meet for the conference championships last year, I think Elias probably would have won that event. Um, you know, I think uh, you know he he just put you know he had he had one race to, to, to go after that hundred breaststroke record, and um, and just uh, got a little bit overexcited, um, and, and you know to Max credit he took advantage of that opening and and, and touched him out, um, but Elias uh, you know he you know there those two are racing every day in practice. Mac doesn't want to lose. Um, you know, as far as he's concerned, he's the defending conference champion, and Elias uh, also doesn't want to lose, and he feels that you know, he has the, the, the potential to be the, the school record holder by the end of the season. Um, so there's a lot of great things going on with those two. Uh, we also have in that same uh, class Mark Dieter who right now is surprisingly, sort of somewhat surprising to me, uh, the, 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 the um, 
the highest returning finisher from the 400 IM last year. Um, Mark, uh, you know, he is just a, a super laid back guy, and uh, to an extent, like we, you know, even with some of the things that he does in test sets, you know, there's certain ones that you're looking at, wow, that was that was amazing, and there's other times you're going. Wow, I think there's more in the tank. He just, you know, he's he's kind of on uh, not I don't want to say cruise control, but you know, he gets into his comfort zone. Um, and so, you know, when it comes time for a, a tough set, you know, sometimes we push him harder than I think he realizes he's capable of. Um, but you know, he he really loves that 400 IM. He loves the backstroke events, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to to seeing him take another step forward this year. I think. You know, as a junior now, he recognizes that he's you know, going into a leader, more of a leadership position, and uh, and he's really embracing that, and and and, you know, and and getting you know after some of these sets to to make sure that he continues to improve. Um, and then sophomore Caden Smith uh, won two events last year at the conference championships. Um, you know, he uh, has a you know he's a great middle distance distance swimmer. Um, and you know, and again, he's he's not satisfied. I mean, he, the one event that he lost, he's he's motivated to to try and make sure that he comes out on top there. So, um, you know, there's there's a lot of hard work going on there, and he's been challenged by a couple of the freshmen that, um, you know, that there's there's a possibility that he could get upset by his own teammates. Um, so I think it's going to be um, you know it's going to be an interesting uh, battle there for for him. Yeah. So we have uh, you know just a small group of newcomers. Uh, five five new guys this year. For one of whom was uh, a transfer from a school that didn't have a team, so he's been out of the water for a little bit. Elijah Miller. So he's he's working on you know getting back in shape, and we'll see how that progresses for him over the course of the year. Uh, we also have Victor Schultz that uh, you know has the potential to develop as a breaststroker and a and a freestyler. We're we're still at the early part of the season where we're not sure what his best events are going to be. Um, we also have um, Owen uh, Schultz who is. Uh, Schulz, I am never really sure how to, to pronounce his last name because it's you know, it doesn't have the T. Uh, but you know he has over the course of his high school career had some years where he was a really strong backstroker. He's had some progress as a as a butterflyer. But what we've really seen out of him so far is that his freestyle really is is you know strong, and um, that middle distance and possibly the distance events. Um, you know he's he's you know right now one of our top performers in the freestyle events. Pushing Peter Miller, pushing uh, you know Caden Smith, um, and also being pushed by his classmate Paul Braun, who basically swims the same events: the the, the backstroke events, the the middle distance to distance freestyle events, and and Paul uh, very much like some of uh, you know his his teammates like you know, Ryan Clemmer, he doesn't like to lose anything. He doesn't like to lose you know warm up. He doesn't you know anytime we do a test set, he's it's a race. It's always a race. Um, you know, so and he's motivated. He he wants to he wants to be the best that he can be. Um, so you know, there's there's every day in practice. It's it's interesting to watch. You know, these guys get after it and challenge these upperclassmen to to, to, to for everybody to be better. Um, and then our other freshman, Jacob Vinoy, um, he's also a very good freestyler, uh, but he's more at the sprint end of freestyle. You know, I'm kind of looking for him the you know the 50, 100, 200, the butterfly events. Um, so a little bit different with his specialties, um, but you know, again, a guy that he came to swim camp here a couple of years, and um, you know, I see a lot of potential there. I think he's going to be one of our top finishers in the freestyle and the, and the butterfly events. Um, not necessarily stepping into to James Hancock's shoes uh, immediately, but uh, over the course of his career, I think that's going to be something that he might be able to achieve is you know being in that echelon of, of swimmers for us. You know, the keys for the Wolverines, uh, the men's swimming, to, to defend our, our conference championship, um, you know, the big thing is, is they can't, they can't uh, you know, ease up. They have to continue to work to, to be better, to, to find what their niche is, to, to excel, to, to, you know, for the guys who are at the, uh, you know, the, that are fighting for that 15, 16, 17, 18 spot on the conference roster, finding ways to be able to score the most points at the conference championships. Um, you know, there's no question looking at the, the rest of the conference that, you know, the other teams have brought in some talent. Um, so there, it's going to be a challenge, um, you know, and they, so the guys can't, they can't just rest on the fact that they've, they've won before and we have a big senior class and, and that they've been there before. Um, you know, they're going to have to really strive to continue to improve, to, to continue to take those top spots, uh, you know, to maintain their top spots um, and to, you know, just to, to, to challenge each other 
on a daily basis to, to make sure that they're they're striving toward that common goal.